And the MAC weather page for this Monday, February 11th, and a very busy week coming up. We have two storms, twin storms. It looks like about 8 to 14 inches of snow when you combine uh, both storms here in mid-Michigan. Uh, the headlines, winter weather advisories, winter storm watches. Would not be surprised to see some winter storm warnings issued here later on this afternoon if the computer models uh, continue to uh, show a significant snow across the north. Again, 5 to 8 inches in mid-Michigan, about 2 to 5 inches once you get down towards St. John's, Lansing area. But they may also pick up about 1 to 2 tenths of an inch of freezing rain. And then further south, I think anywhere from 1500s to maybe a quarter, maybe even a third of an inch of freezing rain. And the big story is going to be winds that will gust for about 36 to 48 hours in that 30 to 35 miles per hour range. So I expect a lot of power outages across south central lower Michigan, southern lower Michigan, maybe even into central Michigan. Blowing and drifting will be a big issue with the storm here in mid-Michigan. Again, I expect multiple days where schools will probably be closed. I think uh, Tuesday into Wednesday, if we start school Tuesday in some areas, you'll probably be sent home early in many of those locations. Wednesday looks like a real nasty day with that snow on the ground and blowing and drifting snow, snow showers with the little additional accumulations of a couple of inches. And again, those ones will continue into Wednesday night. So again, Thursday will be a tough uh, opportunity for a lot of schools. And then our next system comes in with at least two to four or more inches of snow as we get into Thursday and Friday with some more wind. And again, my total for the uh, entire week, about eight to 14 inches as it looks right now. Our normal high for the day is 30, our normal low is 12. Uh, yesterday we had a high of 25 and a low of 18. And if we look at the uh, weather map this morning, you see temperatures mainly in the low 20s across the area. And again, the warm spot 23 at Henderson, the cool spot at Lakeview at 19. And this is the area where I expect uh, probably the uh, greatest amounts of, of, of uh, impact with the uh, about four or five inches of snow, three, four, five inches of snow, and maybe up to a quarter of an inch of ice. And again, heavier snows across the north, five to eight inches at least. The potential is there for more than that, especially if the Europeans right, it would pump out more in a way of about uh, six to nine inches of snow up in this area. And again, less snowfall as you get into southern lower Michigan, but a pretty high impact uh, chance of from freezing rain across that area. Again, so we're going to watch this entire area for uh, the chances of some power outages. And if we look at the next slide, you can see our system here. Uh, developing in the Rockies right now, you can see the moisture fetch out of ahead of it. This system in the northwest, that is our kicker system. That's the one that's allowing this system to eject out from the southwest up towards the Great Lakes. And again, this will be our system as we uh, move into uh, Thursday and Friday. So we can see both uh, players on the field right now. If we look at the radar, not a whole lot going on across the Great Lakes, but you can see in the southwest part of the lower right, left-hand part of the screen here, you can see that snow now beginning to move into portions of Missouri and it'll eventually get into Iowa and into Illinois later on this afternoon. And that system will be moving in here as we get into the nighttime hours, uh, probably close to midnight. On the weather map, you can see a lot of low pressure systems organizing off to our west. Again, that system will move to the east and then to the north. And again, there is a chance, I think this is a little bit too far north for tonight as far as the freezing rain. I think that'll be confined mainly uh, from areas around Lansing off to the south. And then for tomorrow, I think the heavier snow band will be about 50 miles further to the uh, south from around South Haven or towards uh, Port Huron. From there north, I think the heavier snows will be. And again, that system will move off. And then if we look at the overall precipitation here uh, from the NOAA high resolution uh, uh, forecast model, they have about six to eight tenths of an inch. This is about the area where we expect the heaviest precipitation to fall. And this is the area where we also expect uh, much of it to be in a form of snow. So uh, that Mount Pleasant, uh, uh, Elma, all the way towards Midland, back to Grand Rapids, that looks like your bullseye area from Grand Rapids towards Bay City and Saginaw, uh, either side of that line. Again, uh, six to eight tenths, which would be at least six to uh, eight inches of snow. I think some higher snowfall ratios, uh, maybe about 12 to one, will make that closer to about seven to nine inches of snow. So we'll keep an eye on that. As far as the overall snowfall predicted by the WPC, you can see mid-Michigan off to the north, a good six to as much as 10 inches as you get further north. A little bit less here across uh, south central lower Michigan, but again, that's where you're also going to get more in the way of icing take place. And that's especially true as you get into southeast lower Michigan. If we look at the Canadian model, you can see the heaviest snows. They project around 10 inches of snow in the uh, Saginaw area uh, to uh, uh, maybe even as much as about 10 or 11 inches further north. The uh, numbers you got in yellow, these are some of the European numbers. So the European and the uh, Canadian are pretty similar, showing more significant snows up here in mid-Michigan. 
And again, I would not be surprised to see places like Montcalm, maybe Kent County, Macosta, Isabella, uh, Midland, some of those areas maybe going to a winter storm morning here. But we'll, I think they're going to wait until the afternoon uh, computer models uh, come out here, the uh, 12Z run, and we'll see what happens with that. As far as your forecast goes, again, today highs in the upper 20s. That snow and wind move in late tonight into tomorrow. Freezing rain further to the south where temperatures will climb up into the mid-30s uh, after the freezing rain. And then temperatures will drop down into the 20s for much of the rest of the week. And we'll watch that system for Thursday and Friday. Again, that has a chance to produce uh, several inches of snow and some wind with it as well. So a pretty snowy week coming up here for mid-Michigan. Thanks for stopping by and having yourself a great day and 73s to all.